Hey everyone, Playground AI just released a massive new and improved update. Beyond Stable Diffusion 1.5 and 2.1, we now have Stable Diffusion XL. Your free image generations just got better. In this video, we'll be doing a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the new model. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you are going to give this a try. Let's get started. To get started, simply go to playgroundai.com, click on create. On the right here, you will see that there's on a board and new canvas file. Currently, it only works in the canvas file. Um, that's up to 60 generations a day on the free account. And if you are a pro user, you get 300 a day and that resets every day. So that's actually really good for what they have to offer. Um, in here, if you've never seen it before, it's a similar setup to the board. So you get your image to image, your filters, your uh, negative words, your exclusions, your control traits and all that stuff. Um, on the right, you have your prompt guidance, your model, quality and details, uh, seed, number of images to generate, and then a bunch of other things that you can look into there. I kind of leave everything the same as during the test mode. I find that the easiest to start with. Um, and then at the top, you get your shortcuts and your keys. So they do give you the shortcut names up there. So like a B for move and select and your pan and your hold and your space. Um, really simple and easy there. And if you're wondering where to put your prompt, it's actually in the middle of the screen right there. Um, this is a board. So imagine it like a big open drawing table. You can do a lot more. You can add a lot more as well. To zoom out, you can just go ahead and click on this minus sign there. And to zoom in, you can click on the plus sign. And if you don't like to do that manually, you can hold on your control button and let's do your scroll wheel and you get that. And you can hold the space bar as well and then move things around. So there, it's really simpler or really similar to their in painting. So I highly recommend you playing with it if you haven't checked it out. It's really easy to use actually. Um, to get started, we're gonna go ahead and choose the model. You can see they have Stable Diffusion XL in here, and that is really good. So we're gonna go ahead and choose a prompt. It's gonna be the most basic prompt. I think all prompts should start with really basic. So it's gonna be a portrait of girl, <laughs> really simple. Um, and then click on generate. Now you always have options to do some of the filters so you can see what filters are available on, on this model right now. We'll go ahead and start with the most basic of none and then um, click on that generation there. So you can do control enter or just click on the generate button. Um, give it a few seconds and you're gonna see it start popping it in and then the frame sorts of jumps into a new space. So very, very simple here. And there you go, because we didn't really give it much thought to it. It's just like a random portrait of a girl. Um, nothing crazy here, just this almost like a oil painting um, of sorts. But let's give it out another try in the filters. We're going to go ahead and do the delicate detail and click on generate. Um, we're always going to keep doing one image at a time. But if you don't want to do that, you can do four. And if you don't like a certain image, you can always delete it. So. That's the beauty of working on board. Um, I love working this way because you can do multiple images at once, multiple types. So let's say you like this generation um, and it works well. And then sometimes you're like, ah, I want to do more of this. or I want to change the color of that. You can do it right straight from here. It's more very like um, playful, hands-on sort of experiment. And you can see now with the filter. So this is sort of like your models, right? This is actually really good. So. I quite like it. I think it's better than what they had in the past. And if we were to do something more intricate, let's say, can they do that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to one of my favorites, so the cinematic warm, and see if they can do that. Um, some very ones I notice that they're not on here right now is like the animation one, um, and then some of the app icons or retro anime and all that stuff. But I'm sure once they release it fully, it can be there. Um, it's currently in beta mode, so it's quite understandable that it's not there yet, but this is really, really a huge improvement for um, Playground here, and I'm, I'm excited to test this out a little bit more. This one is a really cool detail. You can see there's a lot of nice lighting effect, the hair effect, and even the full-on scene being blown out. Uh, my prompt is very basic, right? So I think we should give it a better uh, attempt here, and... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and redo all of these. So 
Uh, just a quick note, you can move the frame anywhere you like. So if you want to generate um, next to one, you can. If you, you want, you don't, you, you also can do that. I'm going to move it to the bottom so we can do some contrast here. Clicking on there, I'm going to do portrait of girl, um, oil painting, curly brown hair, brown eyes, sitting on chair, and then we're going to do in uh, the room and see if that adds a lot better. So let's go ahead and switch this back to delegate detail. I really like that detail there. Click on generate. And this time we're gonna do four and see if we get different variations. So it does take a little bit longer than normal, but I think this is okay since I'm generating four images at a time. Uh, once it's done, you're gonna see it pop up. And if you like an image, you can keep it. And if you don't, you just delete. So to delete an image is actually really simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this one right there. They're gonna show you. Uh, I'm just go ahead and use the pan. So if you don't like this image, you can just see that. Um, to download, you can press the download right there. And if you don't like it, you can right click. There's a bridge in front, send it back, copy, download, delete. Um, a lot of different things that you can do there. But as you can see, because I selected a better model than the none option, you can see these got immensely better. And because it is still an oil painting of sorts, um, this is like very, <laughs> very uh, artistic right so that is really really good and I, I quite like that all in all I do find this new release really intriguing and there's a lot of things that you can do especially once you apply the different filters that they do have there's a lot of intricate details there's a lot of filters that you can still use because sometimes when they release a beta you only get like one or two but this one you still get more than 10 i think that is quite a feat there and you can have lots and lots of fun just going through different uh, iterations here and produce different variations of the same image you know improve your current image even drop in an image to image so you can enhance that as well and you can see here i'm playing around with different models and as a result i quite like what they have to offer um, highly recommend for you to log in and check it out and if you're curious to see like what can you really do like can you you know upscale it even larger you you can outside of playground that's something that some people can actually do but i quite uh, am always impressed with what they have to offer their releases are really catered to what people are hoping for right they're making improvements based on the feedback so i always find that really cool so let me know down below if you are going to test this out and how you recommend because I know your favorite is probably something else but this is always something that I highly recommend just trying new things and seeing if it's worth your time. Thanks for watching.